TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, November, part, part one, part uno, because we're what we're going to do here is we're going to get out of the deck of uno cards and we're going to play uno for your delight here. No, absolutely not. But this guy is going to Kansas City to see the Swifties, so we're not going to have him next week, and then I'm going to be recording with Slay J next week, so we're going to cover a little bit more stuff. Some of the same stuff, but mostly different stuff. So you get a good variety, and then some stuff's going to coincide as well. But we're going, what we're going to be covering this podcast is going to be Gen V... Doom Patrol Season 4, Part 2, the uh, Attack on Titan, the finale, and just in general the full review, because this guy has a wonderful review, and I love it. Uh, the Marvels, we're going to go more in-depth. Of course, we have our reviews out there, but we're going to go more in-depth on this one. Uh, Loki Season 2, going to be more in-depth than my little quick uh, TikToks, which I still have one more left, but it'll be out before this is out, for sure. Yeah, Jinvi. Wow. So opening. The opening blew my mind. So here's the thing. I have a thing where I try not to eat when I'm watching The Boys. And I was like, I shouldn't watch. I shouldn't eat something when I watch Gen V because I've heard that it's just like The Boys. And I was like, ah, it'll be fine. It'll only take me a few minutes to eat my food. <laughs> the opening scene was so insane and so messed up. I was like... Yep, I shouldn't have been eating during this scene, and I'm going to watch something else and then get come back to this. But it blew my mind, and I was like, wow, that was really messed up. That was that might be the craziest, one of the craziest things I've seen on the boys-related stuff. Like, there's one know. thing that's maybe a little crazier, the, the, but... The, the, the guy getting imploded yeah, yeah, by yeah. the guy uh -huh. who got bigger. Yeah. Yeah, that was... But this is close. This is close. So right from the get-go, it says... It's the boys. It's the same quality. It's the same level of grotesqueness. You get it right away, and then it rolls into this is college for being a soup. And yeah, you, and, and it you think it's just gonna be that at first, but it's not. Like it's not. It's not like X Men. It's not like oh, this is just a school for gifted youngsters. No, this is not. This is a. There's a full blown cons uh, conspiracy going on, which is they're testing. Um, diseases or they're they're doing all these experiments so on basically on what it is specific uh it's soups. people who don't like soups who figured out instead of being openly against them be welcoming have a school so you can study them and their behavior and then eventually try to eradicate them well, I don't think it's necessarily that, right? Because the school is run by Vought, and Vought created soups, so they just want to be able to control them. They don't want to. They don't want to. There's there are there's one specific person that wants to decimate them. Well, it's sponsored by Vought, right? It's not ran. Okay. So, like, even from the founding. They got more corrupt as they went, but the whole idea was to... The original creator. Study. Is revealed. Yeah, is study. to study the soups and to know what makes them tick. Right. What their weaknesses. What their weaknesses yeah, everything. are. Just pretty much everything. So, but yeah, and it's, it's it like I said, it's crazy from the get-go. It's nuts. I, I liked it a lot because the characters were really great. You know, you have a good wide variety of characters. I also like, like there's a character and they can transform, right? Like they can transform and it, it makes them really powerful, but it also allows them to be transgender. So, and I was like, okay, this is cool. Like I love the concept and it worked really well with the show and with the idea of just like the super thing and just all of it entirety. And even like the other guy, the end being like, if you're, what if, if you had powers, but what if they were slowly killing you? Yeah. You know, like, would you still be a hero if, if it's, if it's, if it was slowly killing you or, or driving you crazy or whatever, cl closer to deathbed? Uh, so, and that's a really awesome concept. And really that's a lot of these people's powers kind of, right? Like, cause even like cutting yourself and making yourself like using your own well, blood as a weapon. Sort of. You learn more. You learn more where you can control other people's blood. And that was a great progression, too. Well, like. not just that. You learn about 
a uh, big character, character in the boys who who you realize what their power really is because it never says in the boys right it doesn't what their power is and then you see it here and it makes sense right I for the longest time I thought her power was kind of like that one character from Avatar that could like shoot mind bullets. No, I thought it was something else. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was so, controlling air. Oh, okay. Just think about it. Like the compression. Like you compress the air. Yeah, right. That would. Yeah, but it's from the it. inside out now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it was it was so good, and even like the ending was so crazy. Like the whole the whole thing, it was such a great trip, and how the characters grow, uh, literally and figuratively. Yeah. And I love that too. How like there's this character, and like she wants to be a hero, but. She's kind of getting pigeonholed into like, oh, but you're a shrinker. And it's like, but can she grow? And then even like that final reveal too was so awesome. And I love that type of stuff, right? To be like, oh, it's, you can control these things with your mind. You know, like, like them just learning their yeah. powers, their own abilities, which if there was like a Professor X and there was an actual school that helped them, they would discover these things that they could be greater and better and stronger. But it doesn't really, like you said, it's not that. It's just to figure out how how to kill them and how to control them, right? Like, it's just a money-making business. Like, that's what it is, is like, it's just how, because Orvat, at least, is like, how can we make money off them? But I love the way they did, like, they have, like, the town hall and, like, the news, the, the way they have, like, the media in this is, like, it's just, like, CNN... Fox, like the way they have like the feuding going on, you know, between the two, like how you have these polarizing sides and then what like the real issues are and how it's just like a giant distraction. So I love how they do that, which is very also X-Men like, right? To be like, we're going to put real life problems in, but because it's under this guise, you're not going to really pick up on it unless you are smart enough or, or, or do pick up on it, you know? So, but yeah, it, it was so good. The only thing I didn't really care for was, like, that ending clip scene. Because, like, they had, like, an extra clip at the end. And I was like, oh, yes, I was so jacked. And then, like, it was cool to see who it was. But then, like, his line was, like, didn't make sense to all of it. And was kind of dumb. And was like, why would he be there? Why That doesn't make sense. But whatever. We'll, well find out. Well, there's a reason why he would be there. So. It was very simple. They introduced someone tied to that character earlier who if for any reason they get tipped off on what's going on that guy will show up oh yeah so there was already possibility of him finding out more or less what's there and that character would show up if they had any suspicion of what was there at the school yeah so uh, overall, though, I the season was phenomenal. I, it was way better than I thought it would be. I originally was like, oh, it's just going to be a, a spin-off knockoff. They're not going to put as much time and money into it. And it was the same level of quality and like phenomenal cliffhanger and what lead into the next season of The Boys as well. And it, it was so great. I would, I would give this a must stream, a must see. It's on Amazon Prime video, so like... If you have, to, if you don't have that subscription, get it. I don't know why. You, who doesn't have Amazon Prime now? At least like for the video, wow. and also the shipping, right? Like you get the shipping. There's like all these services kind of tied in into it. I don't know why people wouldn't, but if you don't get it, just to watch this show, yeah. Fun. Especially if you're a fan of the boys, and if you're not, I, you, I think you would still watch like it on its own because yeah. it stands pretty good on its own, even though it ties into this world. You don't really need to know that much because they fill in the holes enough for you to get caught up. Yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it. It's a must watch. 